you know what? I think trying to compare racing games from different generations of games console is like trying to compare driving in different eras of Formula One. Because when you think about it, the handling, the technology, and the general challenge is just different in each one. Why am I making this slightly weak comparison? Because I am two-thirds of the way to a PS1 Triple Crown. Monaco Grand Prix, Le Mans 24-hour race, completed it, mate. That leaves the Indy 500. And sure, I could attempt it in a game like IndyCar Racing 2, but it's a completely different type of challenge compared to the games that I've completed already. So I went looking for a PS1 Indy 500 experience, and there aren't many. In fact, from what I can tell, there's one. Just one. It's called Indy 500. It was released in 1997, and I did not know this even existed until a month ago. But it's the only option I have if I want to beat the Indy 500 and get a PS1 Triple Crown. Buckle up. It's about to get weird. It seems weird that the entire PlayStation 1 era would just have one game, including the Indy 500. But I kind of think what was going on in real life was the reason for that. Because off the top of my head, I can think of three IndyCar games that came out during that time. Two of them were also released outside of North America. I could play them here in Europe. We have played one on this channel. But none of them had the Indy 500 in because of the split. The TLDR version is that Indianapolis Motor Speedway president Tony George did not like the direction car was going in, so he basically made his own series and took the Indy 500 with him. So you had Kart and the Indy Racing League with the Indy 500 in it. The Indy Racing League launched in 1996, but the Indy 500 was still run under the pretense that some kart teams could take part, so it would still count towards kart. However, kart teams thought this was a power grab by Tony George, so they basically decided to boycott the Indy 500 entirely. So the 1997 Indy 500 was the first to be run where everyone knew in advance this would have nothing to do with kart. It was an Indy Racing League event only. And when did this game come out? literally a few days before the 1997 Indy 500. Now this is just a theory, but I do think the timing of this game is interesting. I think it was very much trying to get people to remember that the Indy 500 is still the biggest spectacle in motorsport. It doesn't matter that it's not in car. Because to be honest, at the time, Kart was still thriving even without the Indy 500. In fact, the late 90s is seen as a bit of a golden era. Now the fortunes of those series would change going forward, but at the time, the Indy 500 was basically plonked in a series that less people cared about. Like, Kart still had all your big names, the ones that you knew outside of Europe. Your Fittipaldis, your Andrettis, Newman Haas, Penske. So obviously, video game makers were more likely to make games about that series than a series that just had the Indy 500. This game is not an Indy Racing League game, it is purely just an Indy 500 game. So, if we go into the menu, and you have a choice of three courses, Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and then two fake circuits, just for a bit of variety. And as for car select, there's no teams, there's no drivers, it is just basically pick your favourite colour. By the way, I'm choosing the flames, because, you know, flames. So, let's set up the car. So we'll go manual transmission. Acceleration A to D is not exactly the, the clearest, and it would be a good time to check the manual, however the um, copy of this game that I bought is um, it is literally in a clear CD case and there's nothing else. And the manual's not online. I'll be honest, there was an option with the full case and stuff, but they wanted like, they wanted like 17, 18 quid for it. For a game with three tracks. Does that make me cheap? I think it makes me cheap. Fine, I'm cheap, whatever. 
but I am going to employ some brains. I mean, let's think about what this means realistically. That must be like acceleration versus top speed. So one end of the scale is quick acceleration, lower top speed. The other end is slower acceleration, higher top speed. No idea which end of the scale is which. Right, we'll stick with A for now because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so tires, that's soft, medium, hard, and rain, I'm guessing. So we'll go soft tires for qualifying. Fuel, we don't need 40 gallons of fuel in for qualifying. And then obviously front wing, rear wing. Um, I mean, obviously it's a speedway, so you'd assume lower front wings, but I don't know how the car's going to turn. So let's just leave them there for now terms of race options we'll do hard i'm gonna risk it on long because i have a feeling that this game is not gonna let me do a full 200 lap race yellow flags on damage on keep weather on random that's fine right let's go qualifying the real life qualifying for the indy 500 is over four laps i believe i think it's the, the average time over four laps or the best time over four laps not the case here. It is just three laps. Wow, that is that very arcadey. And even though this game came out in 1997, when analog was very much a thing by this point, this is there's no analog compatibility in this game. So it is D-pad only. So there is going to be a lot of dabbing to get round the corners, unless I say I can just kind of keep it pressed. Fuel okay, I know my fuel's out, but let's be honest, I shouldn't need loads, so let's go. Flying lap of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway across the brickyard we go. And it's a pretty good interpretation of the circuit. Oh dear, of the circuit, it looks pretty good. Nicely modelled. Oh, I don't like the steering at all feels very understeery, but if I go like too heavy, I can definitely see the I can't I'm going to break the machine. Stepping out. Also, we need a bit of a discussion about the engineer. His voice is something. I feel like it's trying to be okay, that's one up. like overtly American, like arcadey, like one left to go. But I feel like the person who's doing the voiceover may not be American. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so you can you can totally yourself. That's um in interesting. Immediately, I'm I'm not optimistic. So let's see where we've ended up. I mean, to be honest, I should be used to starting at the back for these sorts of things anyway. So it's not really a surprise, is it? It's quite depressing. Okay, let's make some settings tweaks. So if we're going to assume that A was maybe quick acceleration, let's try. D, and then maybe we'll see a difference because top speed, I don't know. Uh, we'll keep the soft tyres. I don't see any problem with those. We'll whack the fuel up for the race. Now, I'll be honest with you, the handling feels terrible. <laughs> You've got to dab to get it around the corner, so you constantly feel like you're running wide and understeering. But as you saw, when I tried to hold on to the steering too much, oversteer... I'm torn, because obviously to go higher will be much better in terms of the, the turning, but I think I'm going to sacrifice a lot of speed on the straights. I mean, I'm overthinking this, maybe, because this is a very arcadey game. It's weird. It, it seems like it's so arcadey in presentation, but there's still bits about it that you would consider more than an arcade game. I wouldn't go as far as to call it simulation, but... I'm going to do what I've been doing in my Formula 197 playthrough. I'm going to up the front wing to help with the turn-in, but then lower the rear wing in the hope that that doesn't nerf my straight-line speed. The weather is fair, and we have a 45-lap race in store.
There's our teammate in the other flame car. And there we are. Oh, no. Sorry. Three, obviously, three cars. Three teams. So, yeah. Teammates. Ladies no, and gentlemen, start your engine. Did he just say, start your engine? <laughs> One of the most famous phrases in motorsports. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. And they've got it wrong in the official game. Whatever. We are underway for the first time for the Indy 500 on this channel. You're taking the right? I'd literally not finish the sentence saying we're underway at the Indy 500 for the first time. And someone breaks in turn one. And we have our first full course caution. We have damage. So we've, we're not totaled. So that's something. I feel like the background, like, thrash metal is a little bit much for the full course caution. I was hoping we'd leave the random brake checking behind in Newman Haas Racing, to be honest, but for crying out loud. Okay, let's, let's pit in. I've, I'm pressing the button assuming it controls me. I assume I have the choice, but let's, let's go with that. So we'll... I might as well just top up. Do I stay on these tyres? I need to see how long they last, really. Oh, I'm going to stay on the soft tyres. Okay. Okay, so I think we're still under caution. So I'll be able to just get round to the back and we can just start the race again as if nothing ever happens. <laughs> Also, that's not where you rejoin the track in Indy. That's just like, ooh, what's going to pop out here? Oh, okay, right. We're going to we're back on for the restart. Okay, so it's still on auto drive. It's changing up for me. Oh, and here we go. The countdowns. Let's try that again. We are underway at the Indy 500 for the first time on this channel. And immediately I feel better about putting up that front wing because that feels ooh, a lot nicer, but dear me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. And that is apparently not a full course caution. Come on. Spoke too soon about the, uh, the setup there. So oversteery, very much still an issue. And we are now firmly last. This is an amazing start. Oh, that's interesting. So, lap four, a few guys in the pits quite early. Quite early on. So, maybe a lot of other people started on soft tyres as well. So, maybe the soft tyres don't last. I'd find it weird that they just didn't go in at the caution. I think it's one lap into the race. Why would you go in? Again, I'm probably applying way too much thought for what is a very, <laughs> very arcadey game. Oh, no! Oh, God. Nearly oversteered straight into the pits then. That's not ideal. Okay. For the first time, we actually get a move done on track. And because of everyone's interesting pit stop choices... Off. We're up to 22nd. But I've definitely not got into a good rhythm yet, or in terms of driving well, because I need to stop understeering into the... Uh, into the concrete wall. Dabbing on throttle. And turning just to try and make sure we don't go crazy. And that was that was not too bad. That was a little bit more controlled. As we <laughs> incredibly get to the top 20 for the first time. through. Not a bad move. Better. We are flying up through the field at the minute. This is going pretty well. Shouldn't have said that. Ooh. 
Oh no no no! Oh, I really don't want to do what I did because I could easily retire from this. I could oversteer it into the inside barrier, and that could be that. And we've lost the momentum, and we're going to lose a raft of places. Oh dear! Oh, you are taking the incredible. P why were they just stopped on turn one? So what have we got there? Oh, incredibly, I'm not damaged. <laughs> but just, just that guy. So I, I'm going to stay out this time and keep track. Although, I have not heard anything about, like, I'm assuming the tyre wear is, is a thing. So the soft tyres are still all right. Still got fuel. I could stay out and keep track position. Assuming I can stay out. Right, so I, I pressed the bu like, directional button to go in. So I'm going to press the other button. We've stayed out. Okay, okay. I've just noticed it says 32 instead of 33 at the top. Have I yeeted someone out of the Indy 500? I mean, don't break at turn one of a super speedway is what I would say to that, to be honest. Right, here we go again then. Second restart in our highest position. overcook it into these corners. Again, it's arcadey, but the handling is in such a way that you've got to think about your racing line, your throttle, your positioning. It's not just hammer down, drive in a circle, it's dead easy. So we get past one, let's not cause it. Ooh, don't like that! No, no, no! It's very hard to race wheel to wheel. An incredible! I can't believe we're up to eleventh. And embarrassingly, it's very little to do with what's happening on track. As we wind up, and for the first time, we're in the top ten in the Indy 500 at the first time of asking. Oh no! Why? Why? Did I... St I looked... I was looking at you when that happened. Right. This time around, I have got damage. I am going to fill up and change tyres. Let's hope I don't lose too many places. So, I'm thinking... Let's try a stint on the medium tyres and see what they're like. So, we rejoin at, again, the wrong place, but 25th. So, that's... It's not too bad of a loss. I feel like now we can hopefully stay out for a while and gain back some of those places when they stop. We're very much out of sequence um, with everyone else, I think, in pit stops at the minute. And the biggest thing is I need to not crash into anyone or myself. Pay attention, give everyone a wide berth, don't overcook it. 